Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am so excited that you guys are here with me as I get to unbox my June Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So these are all the products that I received this month and just so you guys know, Ipsy does not ship the products in this bag. This is my own bag. I actually just bought this at Target. They come in different sizes and they all retail for like less than $15. So if you're interested in that, I will put the link of this plastic bag down below. But I like these, they're really convenient. As you guys know, I have a lot of makeup and I'm constantly traveling on the go. It's easy to find the things that I need and to double check to see if I packed the things that I needed to pack. We have the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Cream, which I'm so excited to incorporate in my daily skincare routine. We also have a really fun Tetris themed eyeshadow palette, a turmeric healing mask, which is different and pretty cool, liquid lipsticks and eyeshadow brushes. So, we have a lot to get through. If you're wondering and you don't know anything about Ipsy, I've spoken a lot about it on my channel, so I don't want to like regurgitate a bunch of information that I've already given you guys, but if you're new here, hi, welcome. Please subscribe and also click the bell button. This way you get a notification whenever I'm uploading a new video. But I pay $25 a month for five full-size products, and then they usually retail for a little bit over $100. I did not do the math on this month's bag, but I will put the amount here and please keep in mind that i did pay 25 dollars. i did not pay that much money so without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to my ipsy glam bag plus june unboxing video all right so before we hop into it guys serious question do you notice anything strange about my appearance i would really like to know do we need a closer look aside from this pimple right here do we see anything that looks different do i look a little strange my face is yellow yeah, so we're gonna get into it. This month's uh, Glam Bag Plus came with this lovely healing mask, which I mean, I'm not gonna knock the mask, but my skin is literally yellow. Like it stained my skin. So I don't know if you guys can tell. If you can tell, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very curious if you guys uh, can see that. I actually took some snippets of applying the mask, so I will insert that here. It just says to put on a really thin layer, leave it on for 10 minutes, don't let it get too dry. So that's exactly what I did. I left the mask on for 10 minutes, then I washed it off with warm water, and I did take some shots close up so you guys can see. It is a very, very yellow mask. The consistency is pretty nice though. It glides on very nicely. It smells nice. It does smell like turmeric, but it's not too spicy. After having it on for about two minutes, it did sting a little bit. If you have sensitive skin, you might want to spot check. If you don't know, I have combo leaning to dry skin and I do have sensitive skin as well. My skin feels a little tight, but it feels very, very smooth. The pores look the same. My lines look the same. I feel like it just is good for impurities. So if you are acne prone, this might help you out. But if you have dry skin, it is a little bit drying. But like I said, my skin feels really, really soft. I would not use this mask unless I was either going straight to bed after using it or like putting on a full coverage foundation because again, my skin is definitely stained. So that's kind of a drawback. I don't really love that about it. Sunday Riley, CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. This alone retails for $65. I have not tried this yet. This is going to be my first time trying it. With a commitment to clean formulas and pure effective ingredients, Sunday Riley makes products you can feel good about using. This moisturizer is infused with ultra potent vitamin C to help fight skin damage and visibly brighten your skin while adding a dewy luminous glow. Massage into clean skin, AM or PM. I use vitamin C every single day and I like to use vitamin C in the morning. It helps to brighten your complexion. It makes your skin brighter. It makes your skin look more awake and youthful. It smells like very citrusy, very nice. The texture looks really thick. Let's put it on our skin. Oh, that feels really nice. It is a very thick consistency. A thick, almost like gel-like consistency. It smells so good. Like if you put this on in the morning, this will definitely help wake you up. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, this is really, really nice. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't instruct you to use an SPF over this cream. So with vitamin C, it makes your skin really sensitive and it makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So anytime that you're going to wear vitamin C, you really need to apply SPF. So this would be great in the morning to apply and then apply an SPF over it. Or if you don't want to do that, because this is kind of a thick consistency and I myself don't like to apply too many layers in the morning because you guys know I'm like I always sweat I'm always hot 
I like to use a morning moisturizer that has SPF in it. I don't apply a moisturizer and then a sunscreen over it because that's too many layers, that's too hot for me, and it just doesn't agree with my sensitive, sweaty skin. So I would definitely use this at night. This is really hydrating. Like, this is super thick. I think you will wake up with really hydrated skin, really smooth skin, and your skin will just look brighter. And then you could just throw on some sunscreen in the morning and call it a day. It says without being greasy like i kind of feel greasy it's kind of like my skin isn't really absorbing this definitely going to give this a little while to sit in the skin before moving on so i'm going to go ahead hop off camera do the base of my face and then i will catch up with you guys to move on to the eyes the lips and testing out these brushes so give me one second and i'll be right back one thing that i will say is that if you guys do want to use this vitamin c cream it does dry down you just need to give it some time i would say at least a minimum of five minutes it does dry down it feels really nice on my skin and my makeup went over it beautifully but if you did want to use it in the morning i would suggest if you don't feel like putting a sunscreen on and then your foundation go in with a foundation that has SPF in it. So I applied the cream with you guys, as you saw, and then for my foundation, I went in with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream with SPF 50. Farah brushes, I have received one Farah brush before in the past. It's this really nice blending brush, and I do really enjoy it. So when I saw that they sent me this little eye kit, I was super excited. So you get a set of five. What I will say about these brushes is they're really light. Even the one that I already have is really light. It's kind of like, this is like plastic. It's really not metal, so they don't really feel expensive. And if you like a brush that has a hefty feel, which personally I do, it, I think it gives you more control. These aren't the best. Mini tapered blending, a short shading brush. So just a flat brush. Fly wings, so I think you can use this for eyeliner. This is a thick brush for eyeliner though. Uh, I don't feel like applying eyeliner, so that's not happening today. Tapered blending, love a good blending brush. Large shading brush, so kind of just like the same thing. So I'm excited. I think this set pretty much covers all the brushes that you would need for any eye look. And thankfully, Ipsy included this super cute but mine is broken eyeshadow palette tetris and ipsy eyeshadow palette i mean it has a, a plastic film over it thank god so good looks ipsy because this would have been literally everywhere and of course i'm wearing a white shirt day that i receive a green broken eyeshadow but these are really cute and they are all tetris themed honestly when i look at this my eye automatically goes to these four like i don't like either one of these shades i don't really think they make sense in the palette but what am i to say i mean there's millions of people in the world maybe they think it goes well the first shade is game changer which is a really nice orangey almost like terracotta shade then you have game day which is a pink shimmery shade very nice. I like it. It's kind of like leans on the peachier side. And then we have the shade Game Night, which is a vibrant green. Very sparkly. Very pretty. Almost reminds me of Puke, though, if I'm being honest. But I'm still into it. And then we have Stack It Up, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And then we have Block Party, which reminds me of a lot of highlighters that I have. A very nice pinky shade with pearlescent flex in it. And then we have the super dark midnight blue that is called Game Over. Okay, so to prime my eyes today, I do have concealer on my lids and then I set it down with some translucent setting powder. So my eyes are already primed and we are ready to go. Tapered blending brush. So I'm gonna take the shade Stack It Up. I'm just gonna put this in the crease, kind of just prepping it to get ready for more shadow to build up the dimension and doing this in windshield wiper motions. Honestly, the shade is not even showing up. Um, can you see the shade in this eye? Uh, no. Okay, so this is really, really faint. I don't like love these brushes. This is kind of like a really thick, fluffy brush. And I kind of like it when they're tapered, not so much flat. So when it's tapered, it kind of like goes up to a point. Like see how that one goes up to a point? I have really small eyes, so tapered brushes work best for me. This one is kind of too fat and flat. I'm gonna go into Game Changer, which is that orange terracotta shade on the same brush. I might regret this. And this palette is definitely not too dusty in the pan, in case you guys were wondering. And I'm just gonna go over where we just put that invisible shade prior. Oh, so this is going on a lot more yellow. This is a fun color, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like orangey. This color blends really nicely. There's not any fallout on my face. 
I'm having like flashbacks to the turmeric mask and now I'm like afraid that this yellow shade is going to stain my eyelid. <laughs> And then I'll just look like a yellow lemon tomorrow morning. A lot less pigmented than I thought it was going to be, but I don't hate that, especially for such a vibrant shade like this. I kind of enjoy having to build up shadow, especially when it's a fun color that I don't really use on the daily. Large shading brush. There's nothing on this brush, and I'm just going to go over this shade just to blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to go into Game Day. The short shading brush, so it's just a flat brush. Dust this all over the lid. Oh wow, that's so pretty. It's like almost like iridescent. And it goes on pretty well with the brush, but I want to see how it applies with my finger. Oh, so much better. I mean, I really like the shade. I don't really love how it's not very pigmented. Like you can see my eyelid underneath it in some areas, and then in other areas it's just straight up pink. Let's go in with Block Party. And I'm gonna put that on the tape. Oh, the taper blending brush. We could have used this. Uh, I didn't realize that. Okay. I'm gonna go into Block Party and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna put that right here. These are like really chunky and not nearly as pigmented and they don't go on nearly as easily as a lot in my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I'm gonna go into Block Party with my finger. I'm gonna put it down the center of my lid to give it a nice pop. Okay, I'm kinda of just gonna put it all over where I just put that pink. I'm gonna go back in with the taper blending brush now that I know that we have one. I'm gonna go in to stack it up and I'm just gonna put that into the crease. I'm not really like loving this yellow anymore and I kinda of feel like as I'm blending, it's kind of disappearing. I don't know guys, I'm really, I'm not, I don't, I don't like this palette. Game Night, which is that broken green shade. I'm gonna put this on the outer third of the eye. I'm just stamping it on the lid and like pressing it towards the middle of the eye. And I don't even see that color on my lid, do you? No. And it's like so pigmented on my finger, it's really just like not translating on my lid. Stamp that with my finger. Okay, there we go, there's some pigment. So I'm just gonna lay it down with my finger doing like the same motions I was just doing. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab a different brush that's not one of these Farrah brushes and see if a different brush can pick up this pigment and lay it down. Maybe the brushes are the issue, maybe it's not so much the eyeshadow, I'm not sure, but because I'm curious, let's figure that out. Going into game night, and I'm gonna put this on the outer third of the eye where we just put it on the other eye. Okay, were those brushes eating the pigment? Because you guys saw, I put it down with the other brush and it didn't even show up, but now it's showing up on this eye. Okay, I'm definitely liking this more now that it's going on. And I like the green and the pink. It's kind of like a freaky combo that I would never do, but I'm kind of into it. And let's give that yellow in the crease one more shot, but I'm gonna use a different brush, not one of the Farrah brushes. Okay, yeah, there's something wrong with those brushes. I think they're like eating the color. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so much more pigmented when I don't use those other brushes. What the frig? Okay, now I'm just gonna go over everything because I'm crazy. This is the eye look. I'm gonna hop off camera, curl my lashes, throw on some mascara, and then we will get to the lips. So I believe you say Jolie. These are Jolie Cosmetics, Luxe Cream Matte Trio in Scuro, Lila, and Amore. Jolie's matte formula is super creamy, hydrating, and rich thanks to a magical blend of shea butter and jojoba oil. The trio of shades that look amazing on everyone, like Scuro, again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, a dark plum, Lila, an understated rose, and Amore, the ruby red you've been dreaming of. Mm. Shake well. Okay, so you gotta shake these, that's interesting. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna swatch all three of these. I don't think I wanna put all three on because I am actually gonna be doing a lip swatch video after this. I imagine you have to shake them because there's like oil in it, so maybe the oil separates. Ooh, that is a really pretty red. That's a true red. And I like that it has like a blue undertone to it. It will look good on any skin tone, which is really great. Lila, which is that purpley mauve shade. I don't like a dark plum on me. It's just not my vibe really ever. Mm, and that doesn't go on as like fluid as the other ones. Can you see it's like kind of patchy? We're gonna go in with the shade Lila and these smell like cupcakes. 
they definitely don't dry down very quickly. Um, it's sticky. It doesn't dry down. Like, I mean, honestly, if I'm going to go for a matte, like, I'm going to go for a matte. And it needs to be a matte. Like, this is not matte like it's kind of moving around I definitely should have lined my lips because it is kind of creeping outside of my lips and I didn't want them to be like too overdrawn or too pouty so that is not a matte lipstick like matte lipstick to me matte liquid lipstick means it doesn't transfer I really appreciate the fact that this was created for people who don't really like a drying matte lipstick and I love that it has nutrients like jojoba oil which is super hydrating and really good for the skin a liquid lipstick is a liquid lipstick so if you're gonna transfer you're not a matte liquid lipstick you know because that's the point of wearing them like I wear a liquid lipstick when Mike and I are going out we haven't been out in a while and I know like I'm gonna be all over him and like kissing him and just like want to just like smother the shit out of him it would get all over him so then I would just honestly pick up a traditional lipstick that's just me that's my opinion we are all different and we're all very you know we look for different things in lipstick so if you don't mind one that transfers and you like the shade by all means honey go for it I think the shade is really pretty the only shade I don't like is this one but I am really happy with how this came out I think the only thing that I absolutely hated definitely these brushes for a second you guys saw like i was hating on that eyeshadow palette when really all along it is these brushes these brushes just like ate the shadow i would not recommend these i honestly like i hate to say it especially because i i believe this is a newer brand these brushes are trash and i'm not trying to be mean so don't come at me don't come for me don't tell me i'm a negative nancy i am telling you the truth if you get it in your ipsy bag please try it and be sure to comment down below let me know what you think about them but if you're gonna go out of your way to purchase these for fifty dollars might i add they are not worth it they are flimsy feeling they eat up the pigment they don't do a good job they do everything that an eyeshadow brush should not do this mask i love that there's turmeric in it i love that it has like a clean beauty kind of vibe you can't use this and go about your life and go about your day without covering up that yellow hue because you're kind of just going to look sick. So those are my final thoughts. Everything else I love. Honestly, my favorite product out of this entire line bag plus this month has got to be this cream. I feel like it's going to change my skincare routine at night. I'm definitely already thinking about how I'm going to incorporate this. It smells so nice. It feels so nice. And I'm definitely going to use it during the day as well because I told you guys I figured I could put the CC cream on top of it and that it won't be as thick. So I'm a really big fan of this. This is definitely my favorite thing. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the products in my bag? Is there anything that you yourself would be interested in? Did you receive any of these products in your Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? Please let me know down below. And also let me know if there's any videos that you would specifically like to see. I'm always happy to help you guys out in any way, whether you want me to review a product, show you a makeup technique, maybe go through some skincare techniques, anything you guys are interested in, please be sure to let me know. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you here on my little channel and also be sure to click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.